Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great weekend, folks. The TGIF. In fact, it could be March 17th out here today because everything is green. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 360, Nasdaq's up 236, S&P's up 62, gold contract trading up $9.60 at 1816 an ounce. We got silver up 40 cents, twenty dollars seventy four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two thirty nine, ninety one dollars ninety six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten year note up six ticks, trading one nineteen oh eight. The thirty year up twenty one at one forty twenty one. And King Dollar, King Dollar's up uh, five hundred and fifty nine ticks, trading at one oh five six forty nine. We have the euro out here at a price point of one oh two. The yen is at one thirty three, and the British pound is trading at one twenty one to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you're right back up at the highs. Gave it up on price yesterday. The SPY's over it. It's going to come in with light volume, but the bottom line, it's over it. You know, the high of yesterday was uh, 424.95. The bottom line, this thing is shooting for this uh, 429.95. Uh, that's the, the benchmark here is the 4th, the 4th of uh, May, folks. Um, you know, bottom line, it's, yeah, that level there, by the way, that's 144 million shares, and we've done all of uh, 34 today. You know, now, I, I don't expect the SPY to give it up on price, meaning uh, pull back to this uh, 429, 424 level. So the SPY will not have a failure out here today. The NDX 100. Now, this is a little bit different ball game here. We take a look at the Qs. What do you have with the Qs? The Qs are approaching the high of yesterday. The Qs, okay, we gave it up on price, and we gave it up 45 million shares. The Qs will probably do about 35 million. Uh, it hasn't reached the high yet. The high is 330.36. We've hit 329.94. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. Volume contraction in a monster way, no doubt. Now, we're also going, it's the same benchmark. The benchmark is May 4th. That number there is 330.29. Now, it would have been really sweet, actually, if we actually went up and tested that. We haven't done that yet. Uh, bottom line, if we take this and we put this on the weekly, you're going to see, you know, the bottom line is that when it holds price, it holds price, and it'll go for it. Um, and that's still the number. The amount of volume that's going into the supply line is extraordinary. What I want you to also gauge, look at the volumes, okay? Now, we've had a great run. There's no doubt about that. But see the last five weeks? Every one of them, that's a nice trend line down. Let me go back to the SPY. I want to see that in the SPY. I suspect it'll be the same thing. We take the SPY, put this on the weekly also. Not, not as bad. See, it's interesting. Like two weeks ago, we went higher with volume. So it's not the same setup. Last two weeks have been low, but uh, you know, bottom, bottom bottom line, this week here, you are going to have light volume. Gold, gold contract out here. We had gold contract reject lower price today at the seventeen ninety nine level. Right now, gold's trading out at a price point of eighteen sixteen, one hundred and eleven thousand contracts. Now that's not bad contract volume. The reason it's not bad is that we actually were testing lows, not the highs. And we get over to King Dollar. Now, this is the more de deviant thing, no, no doubt, because you, had, you have a rally going, and the bottom line is that the rally's going with the dollar going higher, which is unusual, no doubt about that. What I expect we're going to see here is this. Inside of the dollar, the bottom line is that we broke the trend line and we broke it with conviction, the channel line. We're going to go up and test that channel line. Now, that channel line, the test of the channel line is 106.049. I suspect it looks like to me we're going to test that Monday. So we'll see how that shakes out. If it bangs right through it, then a whole different ball game. Um, you know, we'll see whether it can hold or not. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, and this will be a low. Oh, here, no, let's do the composite. The composite right now, 
as I brought up in the update, is crucial. And the reason being, if you're a bull, folks, okay, in the market, okay, um, well, this is still short term, too, okay? In the bull in the market, that's fine. But the way that this is coming into it, so yesterday we did 5.7 billion. And when we're going into May 4th, which we're going into, I, let's go get May 4th. So I can, I think it was 5.4 billion or 5.7. It was the same thing. It was a good number, man. So you can see that 5.7 yesterday, May 4th, 5.4. It was 5.4. So what happens there is that you, you're going into that and you had an expansion of volume, which is awesome. That's how it's supposed to be when price and volume are going. Well, the problem is that what you're going to do out here today is you're going to test it with dramatically lighter volume, man. So it's running out of gas. That's how, that's how this thing works, man. So that's a problem. That's, that's the bottom line. You know, uh, the top of the, the high yesterday was uh, 13,026. And I suspect we're going to get it. Um, and if we get it and then you don't close there, <laughs> that's where the problem comes in. Because we're only uh, five points away from it right now. So depending where you stand, you know, you know, b b bottom, bottom line is that I expect what you're going to do is you're going to get a test. And as we said yesterday, I suspect this thing's going to still back down. It's going to back down and fill up those gaps that we have out there. Some of the other higher volume equities out here we have, and it will be a lower volume day. Where are you? Come on. Look at that wrong one. Most. There we go. We got, come on. <coughs> you get, uh, let's see, Apple's up three forty nine. You have uh, NVIDIA up $7. DraftKings up one ninety nine. You got Tesla up $37. Uh, Peloton is up uh, 177. They're laying off some more people. You got Facebook up 269. Um, yeah, Micron up 290. You can see it's all green, man. On semis up uh, four and a half dollars. You got Microsoft up 3.9. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You have uh, Workday up 6%, AMAT's up 5%, Micron's up 4.6, Tesla's up 4.3. Taking away from it, Illumina's down 8.7, CGen uh, is down 1.8, Pinduoduo is down 1.7. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.